North Dakota. All right. St. John, the traveling black with the green numerals. Harvey with the white unis with a purple and black trip. Tip controlled. Thorson, he got it to Grossman. Not a Thorson. Man to man defense. St. John. Now Erickson drives paint. Kicks it off. Thorson open. 13 footer. Baseline good. Madden Thorson. Thorson. 10 0. Harvey Wells County. Winner will play North Star tomorrow night. Into the front court, swung around the outside. McLeod leaves it. Baker tries a long three, no good. The weak side rebound controlled by Madden Thorson. He'll get it to Grossman. He'll fire it at pass, deflected by Baker. Loose ball. It's going to be dug out of there by Persia. Turnover one. Harvey Wells County into the front court with it. Xavier Persian with the ball. Persian will land it off. On the perimeter, Baker. Baker gives it up left side. Persian with it, dribbles to his right, spins, take that back, that'd be Dakota. He'll give it up, Baker, baseline three, and hit the side of the backboard, rebound, grab Madden Thorson. Into the front court, Grossman. Down to the corner it comes, freeze, freeze, hits a cutter at Thorson, cut off after one dribble. Back out, it goes, Erickson is shot, stripped. Ball is stripped away and brought back in a hurry. And it's taken away by McClellan, and his pass is going to be kicked. Turnover two, Harvey Wells County. Ball will stay with St. John. They'll inbound a baseline left. Two to nothing. Harvey Wells County. 6.47 to play. First quarter. Inbounds pass goes to the perimeter. It comes. Persian with it. Xavier Persian with the dribble. He'll go to the free throw line. Whether there is Baker. Baker right side. McLeod. He'll go for three. It's on the way. It's off the iron. No. Grossman with a rebound. Good length here for a good size period for Harvey Walls County. Grossman to the corner, free, stops, pops, mid range. Sure, never had enough lift. Rebound cleared and brought back by Braden Baker. Baker down the far side. Baker guarded by Almers in a travel as Baker drove it into the paint. He walked, turnover St. John there first. So the ball goes back to Harvey Walls County. Today's game brought to you in part by the McCumber Angus Ranch near Rolant and the Mini H Cleaning Center, 10 Master and Express Car Wash. College Drive doubles length. English leaves it on top. Thorson. Left side it goes. Grossman down to the baseline it goes. Erickson. Erickson back out on top. Grossman cross over the middle, drives with a left hand, put it up. It's going to be an offensive foul on Grossman. Grossman's going to be called for the offensive foul as Charbonneau took the charge. Tate Grossman's first, first team foul, turnover three against Harvey. Wells County, wipe away the hoop. Two to nothing. Advantage belonging to Harvey Wells County into the front court with a right-handed dribble. McLeod with it. McLeod, left side, trying to look for the drive. Persian, he'll bank it off. Persian to his right, free throw line cut on by Freeze. Lays it Baker. Baker's trying to step up. Into the paint it goes. McLeod turn around jumper. He banked it in. Jadence McLeod. He ties the game at two. 5.27 to go here in the first quarter. Pass down the right side in the corner with it. Swung on the perimeter. Almers, Almers, Grossman. That goes to Erickson near side. Thorson, Thorson drives paint. Dump down pass intercepted. McLeod with a steal. McLeod brings it back with a lead pass. Stolen back by Erickson. Erickson and it goes Grossman. Cross over the dribble. Spins in the paint. Throws up a wild shot. Missed it badly. Rebound grabbed by Persian. Long lead pass. Baker put it up. Missed. And a rebound's going to be grabbed off by Erickson. Tied at two. 4.52 to go. Here in this opening quarter. Had a real clean start to this one. Right side, Madden Thurston with the ball. He'll leave it Almers. Almers gives it perimeter. Erickson. It goes to Madden Thorson. A three. Missed that. Braden Baker with a rebound. Baker will walk it into the front court. Tie it at two. Baker, he's going to give it to McLeod. McLeod's going to receive the screen from Dakota. McLeod hands it off. Persian with it. Persian starts right, peels back left, cut off free throw line by Thorson. Make it freeze. That goes Baker on top. He'll go to Persian. Seven to shoot. Persian's going to settle for a three. And we got it. So Persian gets the bucket, 5-2. The lead belongs to St. John into the front court. Right side extended, Thorson down to the corner it goes. 
Grossman. Now Ulmer is now to Grossman. Grossman to his right, cut off. Grossman backs it off. Good defense by Baker. Freeze. Corner it goes. Thorson off the dribble. Sends it inside. Ulmer's. Ulmer's reverse lamp. Missed it. Rebound cleared out of there by Dakota. Dakota gives it up. And that's going to be into the front court. McLeod. McLeod left side. Baker. 5 2 St. John. McLeod slip screen pass. Knocked away. Stolen by Erickson. Turnover 3 St. John. Erickson on the fly the other way. Gets Ella put up. Blocked by Baker. Rebound's going to be picked up by Persian. Persian into the front court. Persian to the top of the wheel. They'll land it off. Charbonneau right back to Persian. 3.09 to go. First quarter. 5 2 St. John. Left side, McLeod with it. McLeod sends it inside, Charbonneau. Charbonneau kicks it out near side. Persian a three, it rattles off no. Rebound grabbed by Erickson. Erickson gives it Grossman, 2.50 to go first quarter. 5-2, a low scoring affair, St. John. Left side, Freeze. Freeze drives baseline, puts up a tough runner, scores it. Over the top of Persian. Persian looks down and says, wow, what am I to do? Isaac Freeze, his first two, and stamps along Riceville. 5-4, St. John, two and a half minutes to go. First quarter. Right side extended with it. Persian down the right side. It goes Baker. Baker looking inside. Dakota trying to post up. Baker trying to drive baseline. Lost the ball out of bounds. Turn over St. John, their fourth. Almers will come in. Almers comes in. Going out, it is going, or excuse me, Almers sits down. Keller comes in. Kate, Keaton Keller, 6'3", sophomore, comes in. Also into the game for St. John, Caden Belgard, a six-foot junior. He comes in for Charbonneau. In the corner with it, near side, ball lost, picked up. Uh, in the corner by Dakota. Dakota, and it goes to McLeod. McLeod drives, paints down low, right-handed layup, good. Jadens McLeod picked a hole and got to the rim. He's got four, the latest three. Seven to four, the Woodchucks lead a minute, 52 to go, first quarter. Adam Thorson with it, lays it. Grossman, Grossman drives, dumps, baseline, freeze, 19 footer, good. Hits a three for Isaac Freeze. Grossman on the drive, kicked it out, and the three one, we are tied at seven. Minute 34 to go, first quarter. Braden Baker will start the offense. Baker being guarded by Erickson. Baker drills down the right side. Now he's going to try to go baseline. Pulls up on a jumper block. Erickson got a piece of that rebound. Grossman. Grossman heads the other way. Grossman snaps it near side. Erickson gets down low. Put it up. No, but a foul. Foul's going to go against Dakota. Ethan Dakota's first first team foul to the free throw line to shoot two is going to be Alex Erickson. A chance to give the Hornets the lead back. Today's game brought to you in part by Mr. and Mrs. Jay's Family Restaurant. And Napa Auto Parts, both the Devils light. Free throws, no good. Setting down Dakota into the game. Tough Longy, a six-foot junior. So Longy has come into the game. Second free throw, forthcoming. Right-handed delivery is up good. Erickson got one of two. The lead belongs to Harvey Wills County. Second lead change of the game. 8-7 Hornets. Winner will get North Star to bow. Front court, Baker. Brayton Baker sends it off left side. McLeod to the free throw line. It goes. The shot goes up. Dakota, good. Dakota had hit the back iron and just kind of sat there and dropped in. 9-8. Woodchucks, 53 seconds to go. First quarter. Thorson down the right side. It goes Keller. Keller wanted to drive baseline. Was cut off there by Bilgar. Uh, Tom Erickson, he'll leave it. Grossman is yet to score. Grossman has the ball tipped away out of bounds. It was last touched by Longy. End of the game. Ulmer's back in. Going out will be Thorson. Today's game brought to you in part by North Dakota Petroleum Equipment. Devils Lake. And the Nelson Angus Ranch near Eglin. Inbounds pass. Corner with it. Looking to drive. Ball knocked away by Belgard. It went off the leg of... Keller and out of bounds. Turnover. Harvey Wells County, their sixth. So the ball belongs to the Woodchucks. 9 8, St. John, 33 ticks to go here in this first quarter. In the front court between the circles, Braden Baker. Belgard game a screen he doesn't exploit. Shot clock, game clock, essentially the same. 
Baker hands it off on the perimeter. It goes Dakota. Dakota tried to hand it off, but he lost it. Dakota went to hand it off to Longy, and the ball lost or to, to, to McLeod, and the ball lost out of bounds. St. John gives it up for a fifth time. 15 seconds to get something off here for Harvey Wells County. Grossman hits midcourt with 11 seconds to go. Grossman go to by Baker. Grossman down the right side. It goes Olmers. Now to freeze. It goes Erickson. A three. It's on the way. Good. Three. Alex Erickson knocks down a three with a second to go in the quarter. Your score. 77-62. They get the win. The ball belongs St. John to start. Period number two, Braden Baker on the drive, puts up, blocked. Erickson got a piece of that, Erickson with a rebound. Erickson with a good long arm. Freeze, long lead pass and a knockdown. Almers gets knocked down by Belgard. But a travel was called on the catch before the knockdown. Turnover against Harvey Wells County, their seventh. St. John with the basketball. Almers made the catch, lost his balance, and then started to go down. That was a walk, and then the collision came. Front court with a Dakota. Dakota will hand it off, or McLeod rather, to Dakota. Dakota gives it up, tough Longy. Longy looks to drive, got the ball tipped away, got it back, Longy's out of bounds. Turnover St. John, there's six. Today's game brought to you in part by Napa Auto Parts, New Rockford, and NCB Electric of Brinsmay. Into the front court, Erickson with it, puts on the brakes, needs an outlet, Erickson, freeze. Down the right side, it goes to Cal- uh, Excuse me, got it off to Keller. Now it comes Grossman, deep, three on the way, it's short. Rebound, grabbed Olmers, out to Freeze. Freeze drives, pulls up, bank shot from five, no. Rebound, a battle inside, loose on the floor. Grossman had it, lost it, Keller's got it. He'll give it to Grossman, Grossman backs it off on the wing. Grossman sends it out top, Keller. Keller, right side, Erickson is pass deflected out of bounds, last touch by Baker. Thorson will come back in, Freeze will sit. Coming back in, Persian along with Charbonneau. Belgard will sit. And sitting down will be Longy. 11 9, Harvey Walls County. 6.55 to go. Here in his first half, inbounds pass to the corner. It goes Thorson. Thorson gives it up. Olmers, Olmers to Erickson. Left side, Grossman drives baseline. Good help defense. Off to Olmers. 15 footer. Good. Gabe Olmers with his first two. Well, they cut out the baseline, took away the drive for Grossman, but he found Olmers from mid-range. 13-9, five in a row scored by the Hornets. They lead by four. Left side, Braden Baker with it. Baker can be explosive. Picks up. Erickson's done a good job on him. That goes over to Charbonneau. Charbonneau down the right side. It is going to be McLeod. McLeod gives it to Dakota. Dakota being guarded by Keller on the perimeter. Left side, Baker. Baker drives baseline, spins, pump fake, can't shoot it over Erickson. Good defense out to Dakota. He'll try a tough three, it's short. Shot clock was about to go off, rebound Erickson. Good defense, Harvey Walls County. Grossman does the bulk of the ball handling. He carries a heavy load in that regard. He's got it, over it goes Erickson, left side Keller. Keller dribbles to his right, Keller into the paint, under has it down low. A reverse lamp attempt, Almers can't get it. Almers tipped the rebound out, Thorson, he's trying to get rid of a near side and he threw it away, a little underhanded pass, no chance there for Almers to make that catch. Harvey Wells County, eight turnovers. Today's game, a presentation of North Prairie Ag, Nakoma, Langdon, Edmore, Hamden, Osnabrock, and Starkweather. And Northern Plains Electric Cooperative offices in Kandu and Carrington. A town with the basketball. On the perimeter, Baker, near side it comes to Persian. Persian, Dakota, inside for Charbonneau. He can't hang on, it's grabbed by Thorson. Woodchuck, turnover number seven. Front court, Erickson. Erickson to the corner, goes Keller. Leaves it, Thorson, wide open, look. Three on the way, it's short. Rebound, Baker. Baker, and it goes. McLeod with a stab, layup with the left hand, it rolls off the rim. Rebound, put back is good, Brayton Baker. Baker with his first two. 13 to 11, Harvey Walls County, five minutes to go, first half. Thorson with that, had it tipped away, got it back, puts it up on back, iron down. The only reason he was able to continue had the ball knocked out of his hands. Otherwise, it would have been a double dribble. Four for Thorson, the lead is four. Harvey Walls County, low scoring affair. Driving back with a shot, goes up and in, Xavier Persian. 
Persian in the paint, got the ball to bank in. 15-13, Harvey Wolves County, 4.32 to go. In the first half, front court, Grossman. Grossman, Erickson, a three on the way, good! Alex Erickson with a three. His second of the game, he's got seven, the latest five. 18-13, Harvey Wolves County. Left side with a basketball, Persian gives it to McLeod, back to Persian. Persian leaves it to Cotto. Dakota dribbles up to the arc. Left side it goes. Persia. Bounce pass Sentry. Inside. Braden Baker. Turnaround jumper. No good. Ball out of bounds. Make that Charbonneau with a turnaround jumper. Blocked out of bounds. Freeze comes back in. Freeze in. Going out will be Grossman. He'll get a break. Four minutes to go. First half. 18-13 RB Wells County. St. John will inbound. Inbounds pass comes in to Parisian. Persian. Persian inside, Baker post up top, fade away, jumper got the roll. Braxton Baker with four. Well defended, but better offense, 18-15. Freeze with it, front court. Skip pass goes, Holmers, he'll try the three, off the iron. Rebound cleared by McLeod. McLeod got rid of it as he fell down, he got it to Persian. Persian into the front court. Persian on the dribble between the circles. Left side extended Baker. Baker given a three. He'll take the deep three off the iron. No. All white jerseys there, and it's picked up. Madden Thorson. And it goes Erickson. He'll stop. Goes six footer. It hit the shot clock and dropped through. Ball out of bounds. Shot was high. Man down. Down whatsoever. The left ankle. Ball's going to belong to St. John. They're down 18 15, 3 14 to go. McLeod into the front court. McLeod sends it over to the left side. It goes Persian. Persian, tough Longy back in there for backdoor pass. Longy will it miss the layup. Oh, he didn't get it high enough on the backboard. Rebound's going to be cleared. Grossman back in. Grossman front court, pass to the corner. Freeze. Freeze goes inside, nearly threw it away. Jump ball. Almers tied up by Charbonneau. Stays with Harvey Wells County. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Northern... Plains Electric Cooperative, can do, and Carrington. Inbounds pass, Holmers in the paint, leaves it off, Grossman on the wing. Grossman dribbling along the arc, picked up by Charbonneau. Grossman settles for the three on the way, it's short. Rebound, Holmers has got it. Holmers lost it as he fell down, McLeod's got it. McLeod will push it front court. Somehow kept the dribble wide pass, Charbonneau layup, good. Isaac Charbonneau from McLeod. Charbonneau's first two, the lead cut to one. Four in a row, scored by the Woodchucks, 18-17, Harvey Wells County, 2.24 to play. Right side, Thorson with it. That goes uh, Tom Grossman. Grossman fires inside, nice pass down low. Almers, Keller can't get it to go. Keller misses, the rebound swatted to Persian. Persian into the front court. Down to the right side it goes, McLeod. McLeod pass, knocked away, Almers. Almers dives, kept it loose, still loose. Now it rolls free and it's going to go out of bounds. Who touched it last? It's going to stay with St. John. Players are scrapping. Timeout's going to be taken, St. John. St. John. Powers Lake stayed undefeated 60 to 59. They beat White Shield. Pass inside St. John with the ball. Charbonneau jump hook, left it short and air ball. Thorson with a rebound. Thorson being manhandled backcourt, got rid of it. He got it, Thorson, Thorson, Erickson to the corner, goes Freeze. Freeze drives baseline, lost the ball, got it back. Leaves it inside, Almers kicks it out, Grossman. Grossman drives into traffic, offensive foul, Grossman. He drove into a pack of three. His second personal, second team foul, turnover nine. Grossman's got a second, he'll set. Keller comes back in. 60 to 59, Powers late with the win over White Shield. So St. John could regain the lead here. Front court with it, McLeod. McLeod sends it left side, Persian. Persian looking inside, now leaves it between the circles to Dakota. Dakota to Persian. Persian with a minute 18 to go, Persian left home, he's gonna fire a three, it's off the iron now, rebound's gonna be controlled. By Freeze, Freeze got it to Keller. Keller backcourt, now we'll end up to Thorson. Boy, points have been at a premium in this one. Left side, Erickson. Erickson pulls up, cut off baseline. Back out on top between the circles, Keller. Right side, Freeze. Corner it goes, Olmers. 
Almers, Keller, ball stripped. Ball taken away by Persian. Persian drives back, leans in, four footer short. Rebound cleared by Keller. Keller got it to Thorson. Now 45 seconds to go in the first half. Left side extended, Erickson with it. 18 17, RV Walls County. Left side, Freeze. Freeze looking for a cutter. Nothing's come easy. Freeze. Pass comes back over to Thorson. Good defense both ways. Thorson drives, puts up a top teardrop, no good. Rebound cleared. Olmer's trying to go up, does, but he's fouled. Shot does not go. Foul's going to go against Jaden McLeod. It's his first. Team foul two. So Olmer's two points, first free throws tonight. He steps to the line. One of two as a team are the Hornets. Shot clock off, 23 seconds to go. Arrow pointing in the direction of St. John. Free throws up, good. Into the game, Belgard back in, Charbonneau out. Today's game brought to you in part by the Old Main Street Cafe, downtown Devils Lake, and the Attertail Power Company also of Devils Lake. Second free throws up on the rim short. Rebound's going to be cleared by Dakota. Dakota will give it McLeod, 19-17. Advantage, St. Uh, RV Wolves County. McLeod down the left side. Belgard gives it up on the perimeter. Dakota, now to Belgard on the post up seven sides ago. Belgard puts it up blocked from behind. Keller got a big whack of that out of bounds. That was like a volleyball spike. 3.8 on the clock. Inbounds pass near side, front court. Tough laundry is going to throw it in. Pass comes in, shot goes up, not close as that was put up by Dakota. That'll do it for the first half. And again, points hard to come by. Your score at halftime, RV Wells County, ninth. McLeod sends it right side, it goes. Tough laundry ties a three, no good. Rebound McLeod, he'll back it up. McLeod gets it out, on the perimeter it goes. Persian, Persian down to the baseline. Trying to back in is Charbonneau. Kicks it out, driving with it. It's going to be Longy. Put it up, black foul, make it McLeod. McLeod on the drive. Shot blank, but a foul's called. There weren't many fouls, period, in that first half. Only four called. This foul is going to go on Madden Thorson, his first. First team foul. McLeod, four points, first free throws. First effort's up long, no good. Today's game brought to you in part by Tribal Realty and Estate Planning for Taunton and the United Community Bank of North Dakota with a location in Leeds. Free throws up, good, got one of two. 19-18, RV Wells County. Get to 40 points, you might get a win here tonight. Thorson, or Grossman will bring it up. Tate Grossman and yet to score, left side freeze. Freeze, they go all the way back door, and there's Grossman, layup good, a set play. They got a bank pick for Grossman, and Freeze alley ooped it to him. 21-18, good call out of the halftime there by Trent Rummick. Into the front court, sends it on top now with the basketball. That would be Persian. Persian rolls to his left, gets into the paint. He'll go with a short range, score it. Xavier Persian. He's got seven. 21-20, advantage, Harvey Wolves County up the near side, freeze. He'll give it. Thorson swung back, it goes, corner, a three on the way, no good by Erickson. Rebound cleared by Olmers. Olmers nearly tied up. He saves it in, but it's stolen. Get it stolen by McLeod. Turnover, Harvey Wolves County, they're 11. McLeod down the left side, stops, pops, 15, footer good. Jaden McLeod, nothing but net. In the lead to the Woodchucks, 22-21. Fifth lead change in this game. Wagging it up will be Tate Grossman. Grossman, 6.25 to play. Grossman gives it on the perimeter. Erickson back to Grossman. Grossman spins, paint, dumps it off. Open baseline. Jumper, good. Wide open was Olmers as everyone collapsed on Grossman. For Olmers, he's got five. The lead is one to the Hornets. 23-22, Harvey Wells County. Shot blocked on the inside, and the rebound's going to be free. Free by Erickson. He'll give it up to Freeze. Freeze, lead pass. Goes Olmers, teardrop on the way. No. Rebound off the end of Olmers, but it's going to be picked up by Charbonneau. Charbonneau gets it to McLeod, 23-22. Harvey Wells County, 547 to play, third quarter. That's left off perimeter with it. It is Dakota. Dakota dribbles down the right wing. 
being guarded by Olmers. Now goes Wanji. Wanji to Cotto. He'll try the three. It's no good. Not close, really. Rebound, Erickson. Erickson gives it up. Madden Thorson into the front court. Thorson hits the trailer. Erickson. Erickson's going to drive. Puts it up. Off glass. Too strong. Rebound cleared. Dakota. Dakota gives it up. McLeod. McLeod into the front court. Left side. Charbonneau. Charbonneau sends it out top between the circles. Persian. Persian 23 22. Harvey Wells County. Persian drives to his right. Spins. Puts up the shot. Tough look. No good. Rebound. It's grabbed by Grossman. Grossman trying to break through, and he's going to be fouled. Boy, they're, they're letting him play, folks. Foul's going to go against McLeod. It's his second team foul one. Also bringing you today's game would be Butler Machinery of Devil's Light. Isaac Freeze will bring it up. 23-22, the advantage, Harvey Wills County. Erickson down the left side, it goes. Thorson. Madden Thorson, pass near side, freeze. Freeze drives as the ball stripped. Wanji comes away with it. Wanji front court. Wanji against Thorson, doesn't try to attack. Leaves it McLeod. McLeod pass near side. Dakota. Dakota dances down, leaves it corner. A three put up by Charbonneau, no good. Rebound battle. Wanji with it, put it up, left it short. Rebound finally cleared by Grossman. Grossman has that stolen. Dakota down low, lay him good. Ethan Dakota with four. Harvey Wolves County coughed up a defensive rebound. The lead bank to St. John, 24-23. 4-14 to play. Grossman, down to the key. He's been frustrated a bit. He'll settle for a deep three short. Rebound, McLeod. McLeod, lead pass ahead. It goes to Persian. Persian cut off baseline. Bank, Wanji, three ball on the way. Short. Rebound, Grossman tips it over to Olmers. Olmers gets it. Erickson. Erickson front court. He'll attack. It's going to be an offensive foul. Erickson ran over the top. A tough Wanji. Erickson will get the first personal. Second team foul. Turnover 14. Bell guard in. Setting down. It is going to be Dakota. Tournament coverage brought to you in part by the Eye Clinic of Devils Lake. Doctors Moan, Enderly, and Crime. And Warren Implement. Cheyenne walking it into the front court with a basketball. McLeod left side, Longy. Longy drives, puts it up, shot good! Longy with a teardrop on the baseline. Tough Longy with his first two. 26 23, St. John. Left side extended, Erickson with it. Erickson between the circles, Grossman. Grossman dribbles to the right wing, lays it on top, Thorson. Thorson. He'll try to attack. He'll pull up when 15 shot short. Rebound Longy. Longy to McLeod. McLeod into the front court. McLeod looks to attack. Dumps it down low. It's intercepted. Grossman. Grossman is going to be fouled in the back court then. Foul is going to go on Charbonneau. It's his first. Team foul two. Dakota back in. Also coming in for the first time. It is going to be Cashman. Belgard, a 5 10 sophomore. Caden Belgard has played. Now Cashman Belgard, Caden Belgard still in there too. Thorson picked up the dribble, got it into the front court. Erickson, timeout taken. Harvey Wells County. Harvey Wells County a timeout on the bench. Don't know if we'll see him again, but right now the ball belongs to Harvey Wells County. Offense has been a problem for both teams. Just four points in the quarter. Harvey Wells County, they're down by three. Thorson with the basketball. Thorson bounce pass Grossman and a reach and a foul is going to be called. Xavier Persian, it's his first team foul three. Today's game brought to you in part by Weigelt Refrigeration and Heating of Fezzedon and Western Equipment Finance of Devil's Lake. Inbounds pass comes in. On time with it, Erickson. Erickson sends it left side, Olmers. Olmers down low, freeze, and a post-up drop step layup good. Isaac Freeze with seven, his first point since the opening quarter. 26-25, St. John, 2.37 to go. Period three with the basketball. Persian sends it off right side, McLeod dances inside, put it up, no good, got his own rebound, put back, off glass, no. Rebound picked off Erickson. Two looks for McLeod, no goal. Now Grossman, long lead pass, Freeze had it, lost it out of bounds. Harvey Wills got either 15th. Paul goes back to the Woodchucks of St. John. 
2-16 to play. Here in his third quarter, Keller will come in with the next dead ball. McLeod left side extended. It goes Persian back to McLeod. Right side it goes to Caden Belgar. Caden Belgar leaves it Persian. Persian out time. He's going to drive to the high post. Leaves it Caden Belgar. He'll give it to the corner. It goes to Caden Belgar. Out driving. That's going to be a walk, I think. Yeah, they got a walk. St. John, their ninth. Keaton Keller returning for the Hornets. Keller in, Ulmer's out. Today's game brought to you in part by the Cedar Inn Family Restaurant and Ag Country Farm Credit Services, both of Devil's Lake and the Tronson Grain Company of Doyen, Tolma, Lakota, and Garski. Front court, Isaac Freeze, the lead is one St. John, right side Keller. Give and go, he threw it away. Pass intercepted, McLeod. Boy, that's five, six turnovers now, third quarter for Harvey Wells County. Baseline with a Dakota to the free throw line. It goes, shot goes up. Caden Belgard missed it. Rebound cleared by Erickson, and a foul is going to be called. Foul number 15, Jadens McLeod. That is Jadens McLeod got his third. Team foul four. So Harvey Wells County gets the ball back again. One thirty-two to go. Third quarter. Freeze leaves it Thorson, not a Grossman. Grossman into the front court, drives down to the baseline, Erickson. Erickson pulls up, 15-foot jumper on the rim, came off. Grossman hits up, went in the tip, and it's in. Take Grossman with the tip in, eighth lead change. 27-26, back quickly, shot goes up, no good on the inside. Attempting that was Cashman, Belgard. Rebound is going to be cleared out by Keller, and a timeout taken by Harvey Wells County. Game brought to you in part by Central Heating and Cooling. Along with Service Tire and Blake's Marina and Sports, all of Devils like. Into the front court, Isaac Freeze with the basketball. Freeze sends it down the right side, Thorson. A pass out, Grossman. Grossman dribbling on the perimeter. He's being guarded by Persian. Now, time it goes, Erickson. Erickson goes to his right, pick and roll, trying to go to Freeze. Ball knocked away. It's still loose. Freeze had it, lost it, and it's going to be grabbed out of there by Dakota. Turnover again, Harvey Wells County. Now McLeod into the front court. Boy, they tried to go pick and roll, but there was nowhere to go with that pass. Between the circles with it, it is Persian. He'll give it up to Cashman Belgard. Cashman Belgard, McLeod drives baseline, put it up, no, but a foul. Foul's going to go against Thorson. Madden Thorson three. second, Thorson team foul three. Jaden McLeod to the line where he's one for two. He's got seven points. He'll shoot two here with his club down one. 26 seconds to go. Harvey Wells County would have the possession to start the fourth quarter. Free throws up, no good. End of the game, Ulmer's back in, going out freeze. Today's game brought to you in part by Dr. Robert Rummick's Dental Office, Jarrell Sports Center, and the Farmers Union Oil Company, all of Devil's Lake. So second free throw by McLeod is on the way. Good, hits some iron, but it dropped. He's got eight. We are tied at 27. Third tie of the game. Third, uh, 22 seconds to go. Third quarter. Grossman into the front court. He's being guarded by Persian. Grossman backs it out center circle with 14 to go. Grossman still with it with 10. Pass it. He just threw it away. He just threw it right into the hands. And now down low it goes. Cashman, Belgard put it up. No good. Rebound's going to be cleared by... Almers, three-quarter court shot, no good. Not a doubles like. Madden Thorson will inbound it as we get things started here. Quarter number four. Grossman's got it front court. Grossman underhands it left side. Madden Thorson. Thorson going to dribble his right. St. John's played very good defense. Both teams have right side. Grossman looks for a post-up with Keller. Thorson down low. Keller, he'll turn, shoot, way short. Rebound, Almers, he'll power it up, score it. That worked just like a pass. Almers with seven. 29-27, RB Wells County. Seven and a half minutes to go in regulation. Driving back, McLeod, underhanded pass, Charbonneau down low, layup, good. McLeod to Charbonneau, beautiful delivery. We are tied for a fourth time, 29-29. Thorson brings it up. Thorson front court. Grossman, rather. Grossman gives it Erickson. Erickson dances into a triple team. Got it to Keller. Keller leaves it Erickson. Now goes Thorson over to Grossman. Deep three on the way. That's short. Rebound tipped away from Keller, and it's grabbed by Charbonneau. 
Charbonneau gives it to McLeod. McLeod into the front court. McLeod up the near side. McLeod lays it. Perimeter Dakota. They get Persian. Persian between the circles. Persian's going to go to his right. Spins. Lost the ball on the way up. Rebound whacked around. Well, that was a tough move by Persian, and it turns into a turnover, really. Ball picked up. Brought back by Madden Thorson. He'll get it off. Erickson down to the corner it goes. Keller. Keller leaves it Erickson. Skip pass. Thorson. Thorson goes inside. Ball tipped away. Grabbed by Keller. Keller dribbles to his right. Off it goes. Olmers. Now to Grossman on the drive down low. Left hand score it. Tate Grossman with an aggressive move to the rim. 31-29. Harvey Wells County. Now we get a whistle. We get an official's timeout. Got some blood. Hamden, Devils Lake, and Carrington in Wall Family Automotive, Devils Lake. 6 3 to go. Two-point lead, Harvey Wells County. McLeod drives, pulls up baseline, 12-footer, no good. Rebound freeze, had it, tipped away, foul. Foul's going to go against Sherbino. His second team foul, five. Good look that uh, McLeod mid-range along the baseline, just a bit too much Tabasco. Inbounds pass, Thorson leaves it freeze. Some of the ball handling responsibilities taken away now from Grossman. Maybe you can let him concentrate on some offense. Pass left side, goes off. Keller, Keller drives, dumps down low, offensive foul. Keller left his feet and buried Charbonneau. For Keller, that's going to be his first. Team foul four, turnover 19, RV Wells County. So the ball goes back to St. John, 31-29. Harvey Wells County the lead, 5.43 to play. Walking it up will be Jaden McLeod. And again, Brayton Baker went down late second quarter, not returned. McLeod sends it baseline, Charbonneau saves it back, McLeod. McLeod steps into a 15-footer, long, weak side rebound. It's going to be cleared by Grossman. I had to Thorson. Thorson front court. Thorson drives, spins it up, no, rebound freeze, puts it up and in. The last two buckets for Harvey Wells County have been putbacks. They lead by four. They scored four in a row. 33-29. Front court with a basketball. Persian. Persian. McLeod inside to go. Charbonneau jump hook. No. Grossman with a rebound. Grossman gets an end freeze. Freeze. Lead pass. Thorson. Layup good. Timeout St. John's. A six-point run. And in this game, that seems huge. Timeout. Wood. Bad four ties. Eight lead changes. Bring it up will be Jaden McLeod. McLeod into the front court, guarded man to man by Thorson. McLeod to his left, now chased by two, leaves it on top. Dakota drives free throw line, he travel. Turnover, St. John, they're 11. Palmer's now Erickson back in, he's got the bleeding stab. Keller will sit. Today's game brought to you in part by Farmers Union Insurance of Devil's Lake. And the Farbo Harrington Insurance Agency can do. And the White House Cafe, Holiday Mall, Devil's Light. Thorson will bring it up, 4.33 to go. Thorson on the wing, picks up that dribble. Now he leaves it, Grossman between the circles. Grossman dribbles to his line, gets it, Thorson. Thorson looking interior. Pass goes, Olmers down to the key. Got a freeze, freeze to his left. Turns the corner, got down low, dumps it, Olmers. He'll lay it up, spun it up short, got his own rebound, lost it. And it's going to be picked up by Dakota. Boy, great opportunity there, but not handled cleanly by Olmers. With the basketball, McLeod leaves it on top. Now the pass down to the baseline. Goes Charbonneau. Charbonneau to the free throw line. Longy, Longy on the drive, cut off to the perimeter. The pass deflected out of bounds or not? Yeah, it was deflected, intended for McLeod. Ball stays, St. John, 3.52 to play. They're down six. Inbounds pass, Longy, corner, now to McLeod, perimeter right side. He's going to set with a deep three. That's short and air ball. Rebound out of bounds. It's going to go the other way. Not enough getting up on that. That came up a good foot short for McLeod. That was deep on the right wing. So Freeze will inbound against pressure. Pass comes in, Thorson. Thorson will blow into the front court with a dribble. Thorson with 3.39 to go, now to Olmers. Olmers gives it a freeze out near the volleyball line. Freeze is going to drive. Gets the night post, cut off, triple team. Pass goes Olmers, gives it Thorson. Thorson curls, puts up a tough runner, no, but a foul. 
Madden Thorson will go to the free throw line. The Hornets, two of four from the strike. Ethan Dakota, second personal, 16 fouls. After this, everything will be free throws for Harvey Wells County. 326 to go. They scored the last six. They lead by six. Free throws up and no good. End of the game, it is going to be Grayson Graybear, a 5'10 junior, coming in. Longy out. Today's game brought to you in part by the First Community Credit Union of Devils Lake. Locations throughout Central and Eastern North Dakota. And H.E. Everson Company, Devils Lake. Second free throws, no good. Tamped out of bounds by Ulmers. It goes to St. John. Two big misses, Madden Thorson. So 3.24 to go. Inbounds pass comes in. Persian, Persian gives it. Dakota, now to Persian into the front court. Persian on the dribble. Persian leaves it off Dakota. Now it goes. Shot for three, a deep three just off the bench was Gray Bear. That from long range, no good. Rebound saved in by Persian. Picked up Erickson. I had alone Olmers. Liam missed it, but he's fouled from behind. Foul on Dakota. It's his second. Smart foul. He makes it go to the rebound. His fourth, or goes to the free throw line. Gabe Olmers. Well, he kind of hesitated. That allowed Dakota to catch up, or McLeod rather, to catch up. Boy, just on the bench, Belgard. That was about a 26-foot three try to the last trip down. Free throw hits some iron, but it goes. Lead is at seven. Today's game brought to you in part by Clements Foods, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. And creative impressions, both of Devils Lake. Pros Lake Center of the Cove, west of Devils Lake, Creel Bay. They got a lane violation. Shot didn't go, and it won't be an attempt anyway. Wave it off. So the ball goes to St. John. Inbounding back court. Dakota gets it in. McLeod. McLeod will bring it up. 2.56 to go. 36-29. Harvey Wills County. St. John needs it. McLeod delivers it. Far side. Persian. Persian dribbles into the circle. Now to McLeod. McLeod dances low. He got it up. Charbonneau layup. Good. Timeout. Beautiful pass. McLeod to Charbonneau. Charbonneau with six points. 36, 36, 31. Advantage, Harvey Wolves County. They'll allow the ball backcourt against full court pressure. Inbounds pass comes in. Almers, he'll leave it. Thorson. Thorson working against Longy back into the game. <clears throat> into the front court, Thorson. He's going to be double teamed. Gets it down to the corner, Almers. Inside for freeze. Ball batted away out of bounds. Last touch by Persian. Harvey Wolves County will get it. They've only had the one turnover in the fourth quarter. They had eight in quarter three, did the Hornets. Inbounds pass, Thorson, far corner. Thorson dribbles to his right, looks to turn the corner, can't. Bounce pass, near side, Freeze. Freeze going to put up the off-balance shot on the rim, and it came off. Rebound, put back, good, Homers. Counted in a foul. And another putback basket for Harvey Wills County. They've gotten three down the stretch. The foul is going to go on Longy, his first eighth team foul. Count the hoop for Olmers. He'll go to the line to shoot one. It's one for one for the line. The lead is seven. Free throws up. Good. Big three-point play. Into the game. Gray Bear comes in. Going out Longy. Today's game brought to you in part by the State Bank of Lakota and the Farmers Union Oil Company of Lakota. Along with Ag Resources, Maddox. Front court, McLeod with 2.15 to play. McLeod crosses over the dribble, drives time of the key, now behind the back, into the paint, pulls up, 10-footer, beautiful. Jaden McLeod, double Wood figures, 10. Timeout, Woodshot. Two orders, both of Candu and NDTC of Devil's Light. Adam Thorson looking to get it in. Still looking, got it in, now to Freeze. Freeze with some room, will advance it up. Six-point lead. Freeze across the timeline. Here comes a double team. Pass gets away. It's going to go to the back corner. It was deflected. Still loose. It's picked up Thorson. Thorson gets it in. Nod goes to Grossman to the rim and he dunked it. Yes. Nearly a turnover and it turns into a dunk. Oh boy, Harvey Wells County living right. 41 33. Hornets on down with it. It is McLeod. McLeod gives it three. He's going to be put up by Persian. No good. Long rebound. It's grabbed there by Dakota. Gets it down low. Shot goes in. Good. Caden Belgard. Caden Belgard's first two. 41 35. Grossman lead pass deflected away. McLeod's got to steal another turnover. Harvey Wells County 
Now goes Longy drives. Longy puts it a block. Erickson a block. Erickson a rebound. Got it to Grossman. Grossman looks for an outlet. Timeout taken. RV Walls County. Boy, they're a little loose with a minute nine to play. Freeze will inbound everyone in the backcourt. Freeze gets it in. Grossman. Grossman pressured backcourt. Got it to Freeze. Freeze into the front court. Olmers. Olmers sends it over. Erickson threw it behind him. He had to bat it over to Thorson. Thorson gives it Grossman. Grossman picks up the dribble. Pass goes. Thorson, he's fouled. Kaden Belgard called for his first team foul, number nine. One of the bonus, Madden Thorson, 0 of 2 from the stripe, six points. Kaden Belgard sits down. Charbonneau back in for the Woodchucks. Tournament coverage brought to you in part by Lake Region State College, Smile Quest Dental Office, and Devil's Lloyd Cars. All of Devil's Lake. Six point lead, free throws up, dances and falls. Big free throw, Madden Thorson. He makes it a three possession game. Got to feel bad for Brayton Baker, leading scorer on the air for St. John. Hurt late second quarter. Has now returned. Second free throws. Good. Got them both. Thorson with a pair. 43 35, 52 seconds to go. Front court, Dakota. Dakota. It's going to pull up shot. Good. Make it McLeod with a pull up jumper. Got it from 19. I don't know why I said Dakota. McLeod with it. It's a pull up. And a timeout, St. Cloud. That should be it for them. 40 Thorson to throw it in. Madden Thorson gets it in. Freeze. Freeze. Foul. Back court. Foul's going to go against Cashman. But 44.6 on the clock. Right handed delivery is up. And it rims off. No good. Today's game, a presentation of the Rich Sager Crop Insurance Agency, Knudsen's Body Shop, and Lake Ridge and Sheet Metal, all of Devil's Lake. Second free throws up, that's short. Rebound comes off into the hands of Persian. Persian into the front court. Persian sends it inside, ball knocked away. Erickson picked up Grossman. Turnover Woodchucks are 12. Now Grossman's going to be fouled in midcourt in the fourth quarter. He'll get two here. St. John led by three in this fourth quarter. Free throws up, good. Also bringing you today's game, the Fezzedin Co-op Association in Fezzedin with other area locations in Meehan Machine and Repair of New Rockford. Second free throws up, short. Rebound, it's Olmers on it, had it, lost it. Down to the floor, Dakota got rid of it. Olmers had it, he lost it. It's going to be grabbed by Charbonneau. Charbonneau got it ahead. With it on the near side, Cashman Bellgard leaves it off. Dakota with three, no good. And now rebound, foul is going to be called. The two and three seeds from the respective districts have proven to be the best games of the day. Free throws up, good. Especially that second game. Another free throw for Thorson. The lead is eight. 45-37, 17 seconds to go. Free throws up, no good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there. Brought back by St. John. With it, McLeod fires a three wide left. Out of bounds. It's going to go the other way. 45-37. And now the inbounds pass. They're going to dribble off the clock. That's going to do it. Your final score, Harvey Wolves County 45, St. John 37. So two out of District 8, two out of District 7. We'll be back. We'll have the wrap when we return right after this. Leading Edge Equipment is proud to be your John Deere dealer. They carry a huge selection of new and pre-owned inventory, farm equipment, compact tractors, lawnmowers, and gators, all with the support of their friendly and knowledgeable parts and service departments. Visit Leading Edge Equipment in Michigan, Devils Lake, Hamden, 